Well, good day, everybody. This is Chris back again at the Ancient Scholar, and I just want to show you um, uh, glutamate and uh, GABA, uh, the molecular structure of those. So back to the molecular models. Just to reorient you, uh, black is carbon, uh, white is hydrogen, uh, blue is nitrogen, and red is oxygen. Um, these two little things here indicate double covalent bonds. These are single covalent bonds, and of course, hydrogen can only do single covalent bonding. Okay, so what I have here is actually a molecule of glutamic acid. So this is not glutamate, this is glutamic acid. Um, so as alpha ketoglutarate is metabolized into glutamate, I have this produce as glutamic acid. And what happens is you can see I have, um, I have a hydrogen here and a hydrogen here, and what happens is these hydrogens go away. All right. So yes, I do have now. Um, so the hydrogens go away, um, but the electron stays with the um, oxygen, um, and so these these go away. These these hydrogens go away as protons because they lose their, um, their electrons to the electronegative oxygens. So basically what happens is uh, glutamic acid um, does what acids do and donates protons, and then the, uh, the negatively charged molecule that we have left behind is uh, glutamate. So this is actually, ah, this is actually glutamate, and I believe this is the L configuration um, of glutamate. And then what happens is, for, for glutamate to become GABA, what I do is I decarboxylate um, the glutamate. So what I do is I take the carboxyl group here. So if you look at here, I take the carboxyl group. Um, let me hold this back a little bit. Uh, right here. I decarboxylate this, so this gets cleaved off, and when that happens, I am left behind with this little guy here. This is a molecule of GABA, gamma aminobutyric acid. This area here, this carboxyl area here, um, obviously this oxygen still has that electron, so this area is going to be very polar, um, so this is a polar molecule. All right. And um, I still have my nitrogen here with the two hydrogens, but you can see that um, here in my glutamate molecule, I'll put my glutamate molecule, uh, maybe, maybe I'll pull this back here. You can see that I have um, my carboxyl group here that is still attached, um, but that is not the case when it comes to GABA here, gamma aminobutyric acid. So it is literally decarboxylated glutamate. All right, guys. Uh, hopefully you found that interesting. And uh, as always, thanks for hanging in there.